This is just an uh, overview, overview a video. We have installed Control Alt T. Oh, look at that. We have Rofi there. <laughs> oh, I forgot all about it. It's Control Alt T. And Control Alt T provides us with screen fetch, for instance. So we are, are on Arch Linux. We are away from Arco Linux. But as you can see, the setup, the setup and the conkeys and all that, variety and PAMAC is all everything is there. There is something that maybe is bothering you already. For instance, this is something we uh, use and it's not there. So that's one thing we could fix in this video as well. So we have ETC scale. Remember the very important folder where everything is hidden, everything is updated all the config of your systems are. So this is what we have now. That's uh, not good, but bash RC latest is what we used to have or we have in Arco Linux. If we're gonna copy paste that one over to Eric and then bash RC, control A, delete, control V, save. So we copy pasted the configuration of Arco Linux on Arch Linux. Now we tell the system to go to a terminal, so this will work. Uh, super return will work, and super shift return will work. So all the shortcuts are working, as you see. That's the Nautilus, sorry, Tuna that kicks in. And um, the only thing we need to, oops, we have already control T, we have lift off. Um, there you go, we have now uh, NeoFetch, and NeoFetch is all defined in .config and if you want to change stuff in there it's here it's in the configuration file um, of course everything from Arco Linux is copied as well as good well good thing because we have all the conkeys as well so um, it's all there I mean, in the previous video we changed already the icon for the conkey and we changed okay this name here Arch Linux so we're just gonna have a look around. So the terminal works now. We have uh, NeoFetch and PKSYUA, the thing that we're so used to. It's this, and we have already an update. So that's fine. Let them update. That's a um, package we need for Yahoot. So Yahoot is already installed, installed. And maybe we'd like to have something like Tryzen or Packer or another helper. And then you say edit this thing. No, I don't want to edit. Continue. Yes, I want to continue. Proceed to installation. Yes, proceed to installation. And he's downloading Trizen now. Continue installing. Yes, continue installing. Proceed to installation. Yes, proceed to installation. And then we can, for instance, install Spotify with Trizen. Say, let's have a look. What number is this? Spotify, 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 Spotify. It's going to be a number. Here it is. Oh, uh -huh. I did already install it, so number 33 would have been my installation. And Trizen is fun in that way that I don't need to remind yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. But I just press return all the time. Edit, nope, return, edit Spotify, nope, return, edit, spy, edit, edit Spotify protocol, return. And everything is being installed with just pressing Enter. That's the fun of Trizen. Now, what else is there to say? We have um, file manager, web browser, text editor. Everything works as Genie for you. The Conky Zen is installed, so you have already you see already the Conky in here. Um, we have Tin2 up here. Um, we can change those as well. But let's start changing a little bit. So let's see if we have Arco Linux. Then it's going to be Arch Linux with a wrong icon. So why not include a tutorial about this wrong icon as well in here. So it's going to be not Arco Linux, but it's going to be Arch Linux. And let's save it. See what we get. And that's it. So Arch Linux is now with the proper logo and we have accessories like nitrogen 
to set a wallpaper if you don't like variety you delete it you set your own wallpapers with nitrogen screenshots we can take temps is also an interesting thing it provides the weather so it's clear sky in berlin which is great but i'm not living in berlin so let's see if we can tell him that i'm from brussels or antwerp something similar and now in brussels it's not that good so i'm making tutorials what else um development genie melt sublime text atom is installed g picking skate peak simple scan radio tray for some music praga is now our standard radio application uh, sorry um music application but we do also have this npd thing uh, i think it's already installed let's have a look and 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 then spp thing so it's already running uh, because of the scripts we used but uh, the only thing it needs is is um, well a, a library of files so they're not there so we can't show you that but it's working fine out of the box anything else <coughs> We go into those things later. So HTOP is here. Interesting to see if you have two kernels, four kernels, eight kernels. Places and the recent files. Here we managed to change the conkeys already and conkeys n. Preferences to choose the wallpaper. Uh, that's nitrogen for you. And we have as well exit appearance so we can tell him to change not not to take the Sardi OB logout but take something else what is Sardi OB logout if you are going to log out you get this Sardi OB logout if you want another one you have to change the name um, what else light DM appearance We can change our greeter with a team and an icon. Maybe not a color with an image, but thing, things are already uh, pretty much set, so that's okay. Alex appearance is uh, something we might look into. Let's take something I haven't, that didn't take. Let's take Arc Takao Dark because of the yellow thing here. So that's that. And why not keep continuing to find something in the same look something yellow what's this why not take that one apply no first the mouse cursor that breathes no that's fine so apply close if we now open a file manager or tunar in this case we probably need to reboot or something do we uh, or eric or eric don't forget these things need to be set on different spaces on different places because of the fact that we are on openbox slash xfce so our dark has not been our choice anymore our choice is our takao and we've chosen for the folders i think this one let's see if it's correct so that's what i wanted to choose for tunar is xfce so we need to change these things in XFCE settings. That's why it didn't work. So that's why we need to actually go in here rather than in here. This is open box configuration. Okay. Right mouse click. Slim appearance. How do we lock elements? We can lock with ice at this point in time Arco Linux ice so super K that's our ice and then we log back in and we can change it with anything else so lots of things here to choose from so that's our locking system uh, locking system that was this one termite experience we can change elements here we can also change colors do that that's been a little while since i've done that so in config in config we have a folder termite 
themes, a lot of themes in here. Control A, 79 themes are in here. I'm gonna take chalk. What about chalk? So this is from Chris Kempson. Control A, Control C. And then you go up here. There is a backup, so these two things are the same. Compare them. They are the same, except, well, yeah, be stroke true and false. But for the rest, these things are actually 100% the same. So we have a backup system. And what you do is you go all the way down and delete all the colors, like so, till here. And Control V. And then you have all the colors back. So the chalk colors from Chris is in here now. Save it. And then we have now a new way of showing the terminal. Uh, reload. And close, please. Whoa, what a nice wallpaper. Control Alt T. This is chalk, it seems. And depending on what um, color scheme you take, you see these colors, for instance, also in different colors. Not only when you do screen fetch or, or new fetch, do, let's do screen fetch. Oops. So the colors um, are coming now, well, from uh, the new settings, the new new fetch, uh, sorry, the new termite uh, settings, which is great. great. Uh, I mean, so a lot of stuff to toy around with, to play around with, and that's good. So that was this one, XFCE appearance, we've done that one. That's for all the Tunar settings, specifically. Icons in Tunar. So login settings. <coughs> in LightDM, we sometimes tell LightDM, hey, forget about um, asking me who am I and what my password is, just auto-log me in and give me my open box. So that's what this says here. Oh, um, there is a tip, actually. And now it's open with Genie, which is okay. Um, just wanted to point out the following tip. So it's in the system, in the, in the um, tutorial. Right mouse click, open with sublime text, and then change the plain text to Perl. It just shows that the highlighted things are the ones that are actually working. All the rest is nonsense. Doesn't matter. It has a hashtag in front of it. So all these lines, the white lines, actually work and all the rest is not important. That's the tip. So let's go on. We have preferences, uh, preferred applications, a very interesting one. I would like to change Vivaldi maybe change something else not have a mail reader at all maybe to an R or nemo or nautilus you install it and you have it so those are the preferred applications printing works fine out of the box if we install it so i must have skipped <laughs> i must have skipped one thing in the arco linux arco open box i must have skipped this printer thing so 130 to spare some time. Unable to log database, file exists. We are working with a, I think it's locked, but I don't think we did anything or we're doing anything. Oh yeah, we're doing the Spotify installation. Eh? Okay, so Spotify, install it. Now the database is no longer locked and we can say run this printer stuff. Oh yeah, it was uh, really skipped as you can see. Everything needs to be installed. Oh yeah, talking about speed and all that, mirror will work as well. Eh? Oops, does not. Ah, reflector, command not found. Pseudo pacman minus s reflector. It's all these minor things that we still need to install because we're not on Arco Linux, which on which is it's it's a standard installed. So now we have to follow from time to time. Hey, we have a missing stuff here. So I'm gonna add reflector. Now mirror will probably work and it does. Alt T to trust this wallpaper. Alt T, Alt T, Alt T, Alt T, Alt T, Alt T. What's this? 
Okay, let's give that one. So we have now the best mirrors possible. So PKS YUA is cutting, is coming from the fastest servers in my neighborhood. So yes, we have imported our aliases from Arch Linux in Arch Linux. What else? Printing. So we probably need to reboot to be to start the service. If we don't, I don't normally see this start the service because of the system CTL enable printing thing. So now we have to add our printers and that uh, will work just out of the box, but not in virtual box <laughs> on SSD or hard disk. So sound preferences, powerful control, not installed. Pseudo pacman minus s pavu control. Why this one? I have a um, Bluetooth boost of Bose a Bluetooth uh, speaker or headset. That's it. And well, the easiest thing to do is actually to well, yeah, we have to re reboot as well, probably. Yeah, probably. But uh, the thing is, we, oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> the same reason why it doesn't work is because I never ran number 110, just to save some time. So there we go, running everything, Pulse Audio included. Bluetooth, I won't be needing that. Oh, the rest I won't be needing. So, I wonder if it will work right now, or I should reboot. Sound preferences, yeah, let's reboot. It's quickly, quick enough to reboot. So exit open box, restart, and we're almost rebooted again. Auto login should work. And there you go. And we have now sound preferences. So what I do is go to the configuration. It will, when we have a Bluetooth link, we uh, add this line here and then we go to playback and, and Spotify, for instance, and tell them to go to my Bose headset and that's it. Or Bose, I don't know what to pronounce. Anyway, we are at sound preferences. XFC settings manager is everything you could maybe want to set. So that's in here as well. The power manager, for instance, people on laptops. There is also something about touchpads. So double click behavior and themes. Uh, for the cursor that's set but all these things are in here and can be found in here and by the way you have to click here as you can see generic explorer mouse okay fine so it's actually logitech but it's in virtual box so it can't know it i believe that's um, almost done so Disable compositing makes that everything is, is uh, well, not transparent, it's all black. And we enable it again. Where was that? Enable compositing, then things get, uh, get a shadow and they are transparent. You see the parrot look through it. So that's working just fine. This is... Um, is well it sets not to be transparent that's because we used a theme the chalk theme i think the name was so it does not want to be um, transparent that's his setting um so that's okay open box anything that you would like to edit in open box can be done here and if you change the menu we can restart it or reconfigure it it's the same more or less the same option so restart open box Let's take a uh, tin2 GUI, so a new GUI. And since that's a red parrot, let's take this one as um, the standard one. Do you really want to replace the default team with the selected team? Yes. Now we have also up here a red icon, depending if we have, of course, something up there like this, then we have the red color more or less similar than this one. We can keep changing, of course. We have lots of um, lots of tin to GUI, so lots of possibilities all for you to choose from. But even so, if you say don't like what I see, um, double-click on it, 
and for instance For instance, you can say I want the panel on the bottom, so apply, and it's now on the bottom here. You can do lots of changes, but that would lead us too far away. There are tutorials on Arch Linux about the Tint 2. So that's that. And we have Tint 2 GUID, so the last one. Pamac Updater and Package Manager, a thing I really rely on to know stuff, to know where is it coming from, what, are, what is coming from core repositories, from Arch, what is coming from Extra, that's Arch, Community, still Arch, Nult Lib, still Arch, and this is Arch Linux, but we did not install everything. There is no need to have an awesome configuration in Openbox. So we can figure out elements in here, say, what did we install, XFC4, what elements are on here that are related to XFC4. So quite a bit to be able to work on an open box uh, configuration. So then file manager as root, we can use that so tunar as uh, sudo. So we can change stuff in the file system somewhere where normally we can't do that, but I use Sublime Text to edit my texts, which is as well, you go to the file that's protected and it asks the root of sudo. That's more or less the same thing as text editor as root. Disks is something interesting and it's installed. It gives us the information what we did. So we made an EFI partition, we made a swap partition and we made a root partition. That's three partitions we created and that's it. We've also, I suppose, somewhere in here, gparted, which is a little bit more complex. Well, it's another way to view at it, but it's the same hard disk, of course, with the same partitions defined. System profiler benchmark. We can take a look at all the elements. So I have four cores that I've, and eight gigabyte that I gave to the virtual box and we get all kinds of information if we are on SSD or on uh, hard disk. And the task manager, last but not least, sometimes you have to kill something. You say, where is this conky? Here it is. Kill it. Okay, I kill it. All right, now, done. So <coughs> let's find a nice wallpaper with all T I'm trashing stuff that I cannot trash because it's mine. And let's uh, well stick to this one. So, um, yeah, we did that. We can generate a pipe menu with some icons. That's working as well, so that's fine. Rather see it without. So I'm gonna keep it like this. And all the links, of course. We I know we are on Arch Linux, but it's of course a menu from Arco Linux, so all the links are in here. So if you need to delete these, if you want to delete these, you need to get into the OP menu generator file, which is of course situated here in OP menu generator in scheme, I think, all the way down. It says here, need to know pipe, pipe menu and help and keyboard pipe menu. I think it's this line you need that needs to go. We save it. Right mouse click, yeah, it's gone already. Something is gone, but now there are two lines. So let's open it up again. So we have two lines, I suppose it's because of that line. So save, right mouse click. And we have deleted a whole bunch of uh, links. And we can even delete more so the help resources you know, I don't want all these help things I, I know my way around so that's going to be the help pipe menu here delete delete and like so save what do we have now we have the display keybind still and the lock screen is this one and there you go we have changed a little bit our menu and this, I would prefer you keep this one. Why? Because it's all the keyboards, shortcuts, lots of keyboard shortcuts are in here. 
only 107 we should add some more anyway we went through the complete menu and um, I think you get the picture you import stuff from Arch Linux but there will not work 100% why because it's Arch Linux and then you build stuff up or you build stuff up without our scripts or you make your own scripts to make it faster and easier for next time around when you install Arch Linux you say okay let's run this and I want that application that application and so on so that concludes this tutorial have fun with Arch Linux and OpenBox